really cool um, a seminar today. I had a table and uh, it's a friend of mine named Leslie Ardini, Nardini and she is doing a seminar this weekend for women over 40. It's called Grown Up Sexy. Kind of cool name for a seminar. So today one of the that she was teaching was how to get rid of all of your problems for good. For good. Absolutely for good. Get rid of all your problems. So here it is. So here's what you need to do. Write down a problem that you have. Any kind of problem. Just write it down. Write, write down whatever it is. I mean, we have people writing down all kinds of things. Um, you know, not having enough money for something. One person got up and said that she had inherited a lot of money and had been taken advantage of and she'd lost it all and made a lot of bad decisions. So write down right now, think in your, or think in your head, one problem that you're having. It can be a very tiny little problem. It can be a gigantic problem. Whatever it is, just think about it right now. Come up with a problem. Write it down if you can. Okay, so once you do that, what you're going to do is you're going to erase the word problem and change it to challenge. Okay, you erase the word problem and change it to challenge. There, that's one way that your problem's gone, right? So you have to think about it in a totally different way. It's not a problem anymore, it's just a challenge. Okay, so now this is step two. This is what you're going to do now. After you've done that, you're going to have a list. And if you can get 20 on your list, then you should do that. But all the things that you're going to write on your list are all of the positive things that have come from that challenge. Okay? Now, trust me, if you think long and hard enough, there's a lot of think positive things that have come from that challenge. I'll tell you right now, I talk a lot about my divorce and my accident that I was in and how a lot of a lot of people including me thought that it was this horrible thing that happened to me at that time until later on I realized how, what a huge positive impact it had on my life so I want you to write when you think about that challenge that you have I want you to really take a pen take some time and write down all the positive things that have happened because of that challenge okay for example what did you look for it okay if it was the the person that had the problem with or the challenge of inheriting money and making bad decisions and giving it to people without really um, knowing very much about it and losing money and they never paid her back or all these horrible things that happened to her what some of the positive things that she named after that was that she learned a huge lesson she'll never make that mistake again maybe she can help someone else and teach them the lessons so they never have to go through that again. So be really creative and really think about what happened to you, what that challenge was, and what's the positive that came from it. This is something I honestly do all the time. Of course, I get in my, what I call my pity parties, where it's like, oh my God, I made such a stupid decision. Why did I do that? And I, and I let myself cry over it for a while and then you have to sit and think okay why did this happen what did it do for me what positive thing did i get from it okay and that's what i want you to do that's my tip of the day i seriously want you to think about it it can be a very tiny little problem it can be a gigantic problem but take that problem change it to a challenge and come up with all the positive things that came from it i tr and trust me seriously some things positive came from it. And I'll bet you can come up with 20 different things that are positive. So that's my tip of the day. I will see you tomorrow. I might have some really cool stuff that I learned at my seminar tomorrow. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.